Due to the popularity of cruiser or even a roadster motorcycle, TVS launched an all new bike last year called the Ronin. We have already ridden the motorcycle and saw it first hand as to how the Ronin performs. But with our limited time with the motorcycle, we were wishing for more seat time. On that note, we have with us the Ronin again. Hello and welcome to Tri-Spark. This is Bardwaj and we are going to tell you how the Ronin is on a day-to-day -day basis. We are riding this motorcycle in the streets of Bangalore, city streets or even the highways as well. So let's see what the Ronin is all about. So starting off with the actual road test review of the TBS one and let us see what the motorcycle is all about in terms of pricing variants and color options so you do know that the TBS Ronin is available in three different variants the prices range between 1.49 lakh to 1.68 lakh uh, for the top and variant that you see here the major difference between the variants remain uh, with the Bluetooth technology that is there on the instrument console um, the adjustable levers and also the single tone paint schemes and even the seat color for that matter of fact but mechanically in terms of suspension brakes and everything remains the same also the lower end variant gets single channel ABS while the top end model gets the dual channel ABS so to sum up around 2.1 lakh uh, you would get the Ronin top end model with Bluetooth connectivity and the single pod instrument cluster which will show you distance to empty and fuel efficiency and also you get adjustable levers for your brake and clutch and the switch care quality is uh, decent and also you would get a very uh, throaty exhaust note uh, the bike certainly sounds very good and a little bit loud as well louder than its uh, price counterpart what I can say. With that the motorcycle has been in the Indian market for almost a year and what has been the Achilles heel of the TVS Ronin is the design of it. There have been mixed reactions in terms of design especially with the 14 litre fuel tank as to how it is sculpted and also the more forward set foot pegs uh, that you are not so used to uh, finding on TVS motorcycles. But as I said earlier, TVS wanted to create a Rosa motorcycle and this is what they have come up with. Uh, in terms of design, it's certainly subjective. Uh, over the time, it might grow on you or you know, you might end up uh, wishing for something a little different as to uh, what TVS can do. Because we have seen in the past what TVS can do with the motorcycles, uh, the Apache 200, the RTR or even the RR310 for that matter of fact. We feel the design could have been a little better. But ignoring the weirdly sculpted fuel tank, everything else about the Ronin will almost appeal to first time buyers at least because the motorcycle uh, looks big and feels light because it is around 160 kgs and has one of the most refined 250cc engines is what I can say. With that, coming back to the features, the TVS Ronin is brimming with it. Uh, as I mentioned, you get Bluetooth technology where you can connect with your phone and unlock a whole host of features including your riding behavior and the riding score as well. It gets slip assist clutch with a 5-speed gearbox and it also gets two ABS modes where you can uh, switch between urban and also rain. So with that, uh, what I feel is Ronin is adequately packed for the price and the value for money is certainly at a uh, upper hand on the Ronin. But how is the motorcycle is to ride? Now I have done a lot of seat time on this motorcycle, riding it on city streets and also on highway. What I felt is the oil cooled 225cc engine, uh, the 4 valve unit uh, certainly has a lot of low end torque and the glide through technology what TVS has where you just leave the clutch and the bike starts to uh, crawl. That feature is most useful in bumper to bumper traffic which is not found on other motorcycles in this segment. So your city riding is going to be a breeze because of that low end 20 nm torque coming in at around 4000 rpm but the power comes in a little late on the engine it produces 20 ps of power uh, at around 7500 rpm you'll have to really ring the throttle to uh, get it up to speeds but as the bike features low end torque uh, it certainly feels a lot more easier to ride this motorcycle slow and also it has got good tractability as well so that you can ride this motorcycle on higher gears without having the need to change down even for slower speeds uh, thanks to that glide through technology as well coming in uh, and saving you a lot of trouble but when you go on highways uh, that low end torque will want you wishing for a little more power at the top end the motorcycle is comfortable at around 80 uh, kilometers or even 90 kilometers for that matter of fact but going over 100 the vibration creeps into the handlebar also the gear ratios on the motorcycle is a little short so with a wider spread of gears 
probably you could have done 100 or 110 uh, cruising speeds on this motorcycle because of that shorter ratio you will wish for wanting more when you take the run on the highway but Having said that, it is not a deal breaker as such. If you are comfortable riding this motorcycle at 80 km per hour or even cruising it, you will certainly like how the motorcycle rides. Now coming to that aspect of how the motorcycle rides, the Ronan features a double cradle frame uh, with a USB fork at the front and a monoshock suspension at the rear which will ideally give it a very good riding setup as compared to a conventional telescopic fork and a twin shock setup however what tv has done is they have given the suspension a little softer setup a little too soft i feel because especially when you take the ronin around the corners uh, you will feel the bike a little bit unsettling um, with you know forward set foot pegs and uh, upright riding stance uh, you can't do much about it but uh, with a slightly rear set foot pegs probably the overall rider ergonomics supported you taking the tvs round in uh, out for some cornering sessions also for the rear suspension uh, what i personally would recommend is uh, dial up the preload a little bit uh, for a more stiffer setup so that uh, you know it'll help you in uh, rightfully handling of this motorcycle which you can make it a little better uh, but overall uh, this bike is not a corner cover for sure because it is not targeted towards that but if you want to do you will have to fiddle around with the suspension setup a little bit to find a comfort point and also the foot pegs will scrape uh, at times when you corner this motorcycle hard finally coming to the brakes of the motorcycle it is 160 kilos and the hardware does not have to deal with much weight the brakes are adequate and the abs is not too intrusive it is it'll kick in at the right time to uh, make your braking maneuver safe and if you really need some adjustability you still have those adjustable brake levers where you can find a proper squeeze point as per your uh, in a comfort now finally coming to the mileage aspect of the motorcycle so we had ridden this motorcycle extensively as i mentioned over city and also uh, highway roads uh, what we got in return as an average is somewhere around 34 kmpl which i think for a 250 cc is pretty decent because we have low capacity motorcycles delivering that uh, fuel efficiency on that note 35 kmpl should be fine for a 200 plus cc motorcycle but always mileage figures are very subjective it depends on how heavy are you with the throttle you might even end up getting more if you are lighter on the throttle and not punching it like me TVS attempted to take on other cruiser motorcycles or even the roadster motorcycles that are available in the market by another Chennai based manufacturer however with the Ronin they almost managed to pull it off with the polarizing design aside this is a well engineered motorcycle is what I would like to say but having said that the TVS Ronin certainly needs improvements especially in the terms of design but what i would like to know is what do you think about the tvs ronin given the fact that it is around 2.1 lakh on road would you buy this over royal enfield hunter or even the cb350 rs let us know in the comments below also like and share this video and do subscribe to drive spark if you haven't done it already this is Bharat watch and that is the unscripted review i shall see you in the next one